not ready. She's tough, man. Oh, right. no, that's Richard. Richard, nice right, to meet you. Belinda? Belinda, with a B? With a B, yeah. Um, I played a guy named Brian before. Uh, a different Brian. <laughs> I think he goes like by the butcher. Oh, you know Brian, yeah. He was good, yeah. Uh, I don't have to be white. What's the shoes up? Oh, sure. Oh, <laughs> we can stop next week. Oh, uh, somebody else will probably uh, sit down. Oh, sounds good. I don't know. If someone's writing, that is. Richard, she's the lead of the butcher. She must be pretty good. So I out. saw that game. Her uh, end, end game was impeccable. Yeah. No, not, Im not impeccable. Uh, you seem to know what to do. I'm not that fast. Uh, I'm not I'm not a good blitz player at all. I'm, I'm, I'm only fast. I'm not accurate. <laughs> Down terribly. No, it's a very embarrassing game, honestly. No, no, no. Actually, hold up. Chris, you want to play uh, Rachel? I think it's a uh, mate in there somewhere. I don't know. I'm not good enough to find that mate. I think this will be a good match. Yeah. Have you guys played today? No? No. Uh, no. Chris, this is Rachel, Rachel, Chris. I sacked everything. I sacked everything. Oh, damn. I sacked everything oh, for wow. this. <laughs> if it doesn't work, I'm screwed. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
I'll take a draw. <laughs> I'm no fool. <laughs> I'll, I love draws. That's already a draw. Okay. Not enough gas in the tank. Take a game. Thank you so much. Another it's another be a winner, I would love to analyze that game at some point. It's an interesting sack. Uh, it's not sound. <laughs> Hey guys, Brent here. What a great game between Richard and Belinda here and a great fork attack. And But Belinda made the best of it here. And once this king started hopping out here, very, very brave, but Richard staying calm under pressure. And the billion dollar question was, did Belinda have anything here? And some of you might have thought going over here, uh, king e7 and then instead of the queen check, what about queen takes here with check? King f7, this could be one continuation. You're going to get the knight back. And the answer here is that there's not a win for white, but you can make a game out of it. So let's say bishop here, avail an attack on the queen, offer the trade, refuse, and check, castle. And the game is better for black and negative 1.7, but bit Swiss cheese here. <laughs> and, but anything can happen as, the, as time goes on. So... I guess uh, that was one line that I think people were wondering about queen takes here, but let's go earlier here. And I think um, instead of f6, went from negative 4.1 to 0, 0.0. What would be another move for for white here? I'm sorry, for black. Yes, what about like queen a5? Keep Get the queen out, keep the knight pinned. Let's say castle long takes. Rook takes, king takes, rook check, bring in the other rook, king c7, and now queen d3 with the idea of you're going to throw in this bishop here, you're going to add some uh, backup because it is being defended twice, but also you have this in the air as well as this, uh, let's say queen a4 to defend, get out of that skewer and also to defend here, this could be one continuation, and black is winning here at negative 4.2, um, but that could have been one way to go, but I think going over here, there was one line that was missed here, but there's a lot of rich possibilities that was missed. But hard to see when you're the one playing, man. Outsider sees everything. What would be another move for white here? Yes, one idea could be knight e5 instead. You know, kind of don't want to take because of this. And now, what is white planning? I know it's black to move, but if it's white to move, what's white's next move going to be? Yes, you want to bring the queen in for check. So I'm going to make a dumb move for black so I can show you. Queen h5, check. And what are you going to do? King e7. And now, you know, how many of you guys would throw in the queen here for the check? That's definitely a natural move, right? We'll be another move for white here, though. Yes, you want to play 94 to cut off the escape square. And now black is in a lot of trouble here. I mean, you have this mate, you have this mate coming up next. How do you defend both? And uh, you can't because if you take, then just mate here. So basically, the computer is going to sack the queen for this very important knight here that's covering the escape square and and live to fight another day. So that was uh, that that's the one line um, for for white here. So let's go all the way back here. So knight. E5. So knowing that this is coming next, A5, I mean H5, H5 to prevent, and now you have knight takes. And if you take with the queen, you can have you can play little tricks here. Knight E4, and if takes, then boom, the check, the fork here. So going over here, um, king takes instead, and queen takes, and this could be one continuation. Just gonna kind of check back and forth here, but. Uh, yeah, wow, what a game, man. It's a very, very miniature game and um, kind of, you know, fell into a trap early, but uh, White found the way out of it and continued to put on the pressure. And it looked like there was something there, but uh, man, and it looked like there was when the king hopped out this much and you had a queen and a knight, a queen and a knight within the vicinity of it. It looks like there can be something, but the, just the angles weren't there. And maybe it was just a little bit too cluttered up, but kudos to Richard for staying calm in the pocket. Not an easy thing to do, and um, and uh, it was there. So I think maybe one rule of thumb is I think with the queen and a knight within a king, generally there is something there, but maybe this was just too convoluted. So going back here, maybe uh, I think that knight e5 
would have been great just because it, it allows you know three pieces to come in and eventually four with that other knight coming in when the more pieces you have coming in for the attack the more chances you have to, to kind of get something i think but very very hard to see when you're the one playing man outside sees everything but great job by both Again, they both played well and just a very, very rich little miniature game. A lot for us both to learn from. So nicely done. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you thought the game comments below. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe at the notification. Thanks. We'll see you guys tomorrow.